This is part two of the Quanta hybrid magnetic motor generator video. And in this one, we're going to show the operation of the machine. Uh, what I've done here is I've connected my voltmeter to the capacitors to show you, as I said in, in part one, I like to run it between 12.5 and, and, and 15 volts in the capacitor charge to start. Uh, for uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, if I the the electromagnet is actually a 24 volt electromagnet, so running it at 12 and a half volts, I'm really not getting its full potential. But um, I, at 15 volts, I get a little bit more. But uh, one of the strange anomalies is the faster the machine runs, the longer duration it will run because of that back EMF working in the system and keeping it somewhat charged. Here I want to show you as I turn the crank I want to show you how fast the voltage increases, how powerful the, the little three-phase alternator actually is. And it brings it right up to 15 volts in, in no time. Now it'll taper off and go back down. You can put it in the star configuration and it comes up pretty fast. Once it reaches a higher voltage, it, it's easier for that to work, but generally speaking, you want to you wanna keep it in the uh, delta configuration. But uh, it charges up quite fast. Okay, let's run this bad boy. Now, you really don't need the handle to run it. I just have it on there for the convenience of charging the capacitors. But uh, just turn the switches on and give it a little push and it starts going faster and faster and faster I heard someone explain in real simple terms uh, a real good example of why this runs for a longer duration uh, once it gets up to a higher rate of speed. And it's kind of like uh, what they ex explained was like a line of people uh, about to pass through a spring-loaded screen door. And the first person passes through, walks very slowly, and has to push energy use energy to push the door open and the next person is far behind and so the door spring-loaded door slams shut the next person comes up and has to use extra force you know to open it back up and and so forth down the line now they the the people get closer together and they walk faster and the first one uses some energy to open that door and the rest of them behind the door is still almost fully open and they just pass through quite easily so that's the reason, uh, and it's interesting because, you know, as I said before, the faster the, the rotor turns and the more pulses that it gets from the electromagnet, uh, the more back EMF you get back into the system, and which, you know, uh, extends the duration by feeding back into the capacitors and also keeping the uh, system charged to some point uh, for the next round. Well, we can, we could be here for for the next hour and just watch it do the same thing that it's doing now. So the next thing I'm going to show you uh, will be the uh, high frequency addition that I put to the top. We can use it while it's spinning and and operate that at the same time, or use the hand crank. But I'm going to turn the lights off so that you can see the uh, nice corona that it that it gives too on the on the device. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have this 21 watt fluorescent bulb that I'm going to show the high frequency energy. I'm just going to show you in the light before I turn the light off because you won't see it very well once I turn the light off. But you see the corona nice. And uh, I've got two switches up here and if I just hit one switch it turns on the high frequency while the machine is running. Uh, let's put it to the other setting though. 
All right, let me turn the light off. Okay, kind of hard to see, but yeah. I don't know if you can see that corona very well. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit, you can see it a little bit better. This is lots of fun. So you can see it gives the energy off like, like any other high frequency from a distance. But yeah, you can zap it around. It's pretty neat. Switching it over to get bigger bolts. Nice arcs. It's fun. And the machine can, continues to run for its two hour duration. Let me turn the, the generator, turn the motor off, and turn this on. Okay, so to show you. Now I'm hand cranking, so you can just see it takes very little effort, just one little turn, bam, 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 or with this setting, it gives a smooth duration, smoother, hope you can see that in the video. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get your fingers up there because uh, the top two transformers are 25,000 volts each. In series and out of phase, they, they come up to 50,000 volts or, or better, depending on how fast that you're turning this or how fast the uh, rotor is running. And uh, that gives you a pretty good jolt. And once again, just to show you the variation of high frequency energy, I've turned the motor off and I'm going to turn the hand crank. And you can hear the... Uh, three-phase alternator hum yeah, as it's generating power. But you can see uh, relative to the speed that I turn, this is a very slow speed. This is just barely moving. You can hear it crackle. And then faster. So the faster you turn it, the more it, it generates. Now I'll put it on the other setting. Slow turn. Much faster turn so you get a higher rate of uh, frequency of high voltage. Interesting. I'm working on several other machines uh, right now. I've got one that's uh, based on the delayed lens effect. Uh, the same thing that uh, Thane Hines refers to as regenerative acceleration. It's coils within coils and multiples of those. Uh, I've had the machine running for a couple of years. I'm changing it now. I'm changing the, the coils. Uh, because of some of the research that Thane has done so I thank him for that research and I do appreciate the effort that he and, and others have have done in, along this line because I think that uh, that's where we're going to be heading I think that's one of the one, one of the ways that we're going to reach uh, a level of over unity that we didn't quite know or, or could imagine that that was available so it's fascinating you know, changing the magnetic fields of of motors uh, in addition to the delayed lens effect is just uh, an incredible combination these machines to reach the point of energy uh, for good quality over unity uh, is going to require the same type of uh, setup a hybrid setup where you've got different factors working together for an end result and we're gonna see that and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the other machine uh, I've got a little bit more parts to put into it that I'm building and and uh, I've uh, got it on the initial teaser video you you've seen it uh, it's square it's about 12 inches square but I've had the output up to 30 kilowatts so it's it's a pretty amazing machine and uh, we'll be showing that too. I've got some other ones that are based on scientific principles of uh, repulsion and attraction that are, that are kind of fun. They don't produce a lot of energy. You know, they're not, uh, they're not like any of the other machines. So I like to 
like to try different things and learn different things. And then the culmination of that uh, amounts and equals to something in the end that, that you can really be proud of and that people can use and take advantage of uh, for now and into the future. Well, so thanks a lot for watching and um, stay tuned to my channel and see what new videos come up and we'll talk to you soon.